All right, so let's start off with gold. Yeah. Gold. Now we had a nice dip back. Okay, and this was like a really good opportunity to buy it, to buy gold because the, the one eight seventy fifty zone was a good support zone. You can see from here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the market had a good opportunity to buy here. Now I wouldn't do it until the elections. I'd say after November three, we'll probably break up. Okay. If we break above, if we clear this zone, we're good to go up. So I'd wait to clear it and then wait for a pullback to go long. Okay. Yeah. Just in case we get a little choppy around here. Okay. Because we're right on the resistance on the PST. We're coming up to a good buy kiss on the price. I'm long on gold um, and it should be going long. We've got a new week ahead of us. But you see the goodbye kiss here on the PSD and here is something I wouldn't want to bet against. So yeah. I'd rather I'd rather wait until after the elections, and then possibly, you know, if it breaks above, it'll go long. the f The fact that we're breaking above the weekly pivot is good. I think this is a good sign. Um, but we still need to break above this 1,900 odd here, 900 odd here. We need to break above that until I can really say, you know what, we're breaking upwards. Okay. So I wouldn't rush it. I'd wait for it. Even if it breaks up, you know, this week, I think on the weekly, on, on the daily, we'll have a bit of a pullback, even after the elections. Any pullback is good to go along, I reckon. Because yeah. yeah. this is just about to break up. Yeah, it's okay, still in so. the squeeze. It's still getting squeezed on the weekly, isn't it? Really? Yeah, ex exactly. It's just waiting for like, it's just waiting to break out. So it's a really good, good opportunity to keep an eye on because you see how narrow and tight it's getting here, here, here. And yeah. it's just going to like go boom. And when it does, like we'll be up here in no time. In yeah. 2000. Okay. So definitely we need to keep an eye on it. No problem there. You know, no need to rush it. I think you know, can take a break. Um, we can take a break from it and just, you know, see how we go. But let it break first, I would, just in case. Yes. That's gold. SP500. Now, this, with all the indices, had a great fall. They're going to try to put, you know, they're going to try to put Humpty Dumpty back together again, I reckon. So, We'll probably have a bit of a rally up now. You see, you can see right we're right at the bottom of the channel here. Okay, on the white lines. Yeah. All right. This is still a breakdown zone. This is a good buy kiss. If I did not, um, if I did not have the well, if we didn't have the elections, I'd be selling this uh, on this line here right now at what price? Three thousand two hundred and ninety-two. Um, 3,290, it's right there now. Okay, just just there, 3,292. 3, I'd say this was a good sell level for today or the weekly is a good sell level today. I think before the elections, this might have room to come down because this zone is just resistance, okay? I wouldn't sell too much because we're already down a lot, okay? Yeah. We're in, a, we're in a new week, so we just started a new week and a new month. Let's take a look at the month because it's a new month as well. So look, we might just have a bit of a pullback rally to come up to this line here. What's that? 64, 3,546. It's doable. 3,546. Well, that's huge. 3,546, will it come that far? Hmm. Okay, well, let's think of it this way. If, if the election results are great and people are really optimistic, this will pull back. Yeah. And this will pull back and it'll come for a goodbye kiss. If it does, we must sell it. All right. So... Yeah. 
I don't know if we'll get all the way back up to 3,546 again, but the market can do anything, okay? But at least we know what to do if it gets up here, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's one thing. The other thing is this week, it might, like I said, it might pull up a little bit, do a good buy kiss and come back down to the red line here, and then they might do a rally up, okay? So yeah. That'll be HCL1, which is 3,180 on the weekly. 3,180. 3,180. 3,200 is on the line here as well. Okay. So it's still doable. You might just do that. Come down to 3,200. Um, and on the daily, let's see if we've got that year, 3,180, see the target there, okay? So the market might still have a push down and it might push it at 3,147, 3,293. This is a good spot to sell. This is a good spot to sell, 3,292, 93, okay? Just where this white line is here, that's a good line to sell with a tight stop loss on the SP500 and it might just push it further down. Like I said to those level 3,200, 3,180. It might just do one last push. Yeah. So that zone is good to say. If it breaks above the weekly, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. All right, okay. if it goes above the weekly, I'd just say, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it until after the elections. Could shoot up pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. So just be mindful. Anything can happen. Let's take a look at the Aussie 200. Okay. Here we go. Let's just let's just do let's just get rid of this. Let's get rid of these. Let's come to the month. Okay, so we're in a new month. Nice still zone here. See the breakdown here on the monthly right under the PST line, 4856, 6,008. So 6,008 on the monthly is a good sell level and look at that, that's the weekly. Yeah. Okay. So the weekly period is not a bad spot to sell. Um, let's see what we've got, 60 up there, 6,300. And 6,300 is too far out. What I would do with this, I wouldn't go heavy on selling because you see where the target's down here. Yeah. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go on buying it either. Okay. Um, what I would do, wait for it to push up um, and then sell it again. That's what I do. So if it, if it just, it, wait for a pullback and just sell it. With the indices, that's the best strategy without getting caught up in any, you know, in, a, in any um, awkward positions. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll I'll the only thing with the Aussie dollar and the AS200, I think we've got interest rate up there tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So um, even wait for that. So it's, yeah, not sure which they'll probably stay on hold, I think, unless yeah. they drop them. But. No, I don't think they'll drop it further. I mean, well, well, okay, maybe bring it down to zero. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's going to change a lot. But at the end of no. the day, you're right, you know, worth waiting for it. No need to, no need to rush it. Everybody's going to be looking at the US elections tomorrow. So. Yeah. 
in terms of the Aussie um, 200, I'd just wait for it. In the middle of the channel, it's always it's always dangerous. See how choppy it's here? It's been here. Yeah. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So you don't want to muck around in a, in a zone where we don't know what's going on. We want to pull back to a line. So hopefully, let me just get rid of these period separators. Okay. So if you think about it, the next time we want to do anything with it, it's just, you know, if it pulls up a little bit, give us a good, decent pull up so we can go short again. And that might, you know, take us from here back to the 50 or the 38. Yeah. All right. So just wait for a pullback. And then we should short it ugly. You know, yeah. Just really nail it down because it's going to come all the way down. That should make us a few good bucks. And it pulls back and then boom. So this might take a week or two weeks, though. Be mindful, okay? Until the market is like choppy, pulls back. If it goes beyond the 38, it's going to go up for another double top or something like that. Yeah. All right. And, but we're still shorting it. Okay. So yeah. It's, yeah. Better, it's better to short it. For example, if, um, if it goes up here and I had a short position with, with the account that I've got, I wouldn't, I wouldn't close this off. I wouldn't close this off until it broke out above, you know, the 6,300 or something. It did something crazy. Yeah. yeah. You, know, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, give it plenty of room. Yeah. Unless it did something crazy. But if it came up here, I'd sell. If it went up a little bit, I'd keep that. And if it came up again here, I'd definitely sell it again. Yeah. You know, just do a double, double sell. But so worth keeping an eye on for that. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. I think it's much the same in middle of no man's land. Yeah, yeah. Well, still bouncing off the channel top on the monthly. Oh, so this is not a bad spot, really. But that's the monthly. Okay. So... Still nice fall. I think we need to wait for a pullback on this as well. Now, this is a nice divergence here. Okay. So the market might push it back down a little bit to let's say 69.70. And then this might go up again. All right. Because we've got divergence on the daily. It's a nice pull down. Okay. And this is now a rectangle. Okay, so we've got a sideways market happening inside a downwards channel. This is still short. Whenever it raises head up, I'd short it. You know? Yeah. Just be mindful to short it on the lines or somewhere close to the lines so you don't get, you know, um, choppy conditions. What would I do today? Until, you know, the weekly pivot anywhere around here is like good to sell the weekly. But the minute yeah. it starts breaking above the weekly, closing above it, I'd stay out of it. And I'd just wait to see what will happen. Today, you got interest rates anyway. Don't do anything with it today. But the Aussie dollar, I think for the rest of 2021, we're just you know, going down with waves. You know, just like it's waving up here, it's just going to wave down. Yeah. So... Every time it goes up, we just short it. Every time it goes up, we just short it and don't risk it, basically. Yeah. That's what I do. All right. So just got the elections ahead of us tomorrow. After that, we can expect a bit of a rally on the indices, which will be good for us because um, it will give us another opportunity to short it and then we'll see how gold goes as well. Maybe gold yeah. will get stuck somewhere as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, sort of. Oh, I don't know. My opinion is that weekly, it's once it breaks out of that weekly, it <laughs> will go. Is that a good assumption? Yeah. So I'm long with gold until we see a serious, you know, you know, come back down or something. But I think, you know, from the from the bottoms, we should be just going up. This is a nice, yeah. on the monthly, this is a nice breakdown. So we might be going up here. 
on the monthly, what's here, 1857, yeah. If it gets down to there, I'd be a buyer, 1857. Yeah. Would be good. Um, and yeah, down to 1839 is your limit, I think. The monthly is really good, 1857 to you know, stop it there. On the PST is good. So this will probably be a good buy zone if it pops its head back down. Yep. Yep. All right, then monthly. Right, eh? We'll um, sit and watch, see what happens with the elections tonight. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> All right, then, All right. mate. I'll record this and put this up. Yep, right, eh? Um, All right. Yeah, well, I'll be right at the same time tomorrow, so.